Hi, this is Yuan from Upable again. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this one, I will show you how to create a very basic application using our App Wizard. To get to the App Wizard, you click on the Developer tab. And under the Developer tab, you can typically see all the applications that you can contribute to. To create a new one, you click over here, Create App, Wizard App. This starts the wizard. Uh, here we just welcome you to the wizard and you can show the video that I'm just recording right here. And, uh, so you can skip ahead to the next step and here you get to define the information model of your application. This is where we start when defining applications in our platform as the information model is pretty much the foundation that everything else in your application builds upon. You can choose to pick models from our uh, template library. You can import models from other applications you've built previously, or you can create custom models on the fly here. In this uh, tutorial, I was thinking we'll just create a very basic uh, application for keeping track of our contacts. So we'll create a very simple data model for uh, contact. Uh, we'll call the model contact, and uh, we'll enter the attributes of this model. The attributes are properties of, of the model that you uh, want to keep. In our case, a contact has a name, uh, it has a phone number, and it has an email address. And we could keep on adding more things here, but uh, this is enough to demonstrate the concept, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. I'll click OK, and we'll see we have one model over here now. You could add any number of models here, uh, but as we want to keep this simple, we'll, we'll uh, be satisfied with this one. I will click Next. And now in this screen, you can define relations between your models. As we only have one, uh, that doesn't make much sense, although it actually could. You could have models that have relationships to themselves. This one will not have that. Uh, next part here is about user roles. You could have, for instance, one type of user that can create contacts and another type of user that can only read contacts, as in looking at them. Uh, we'll keep this simple, so we'll just have one administrator role that can both create, read, update, and delete contacts. So we'll skip to the next step. And this is about user interfaces. Here we can select whether we want a desktop interface, or a mobile interface or no interface at all. Maybe our application should just have a REST API for talking to other systems. But let's keep both. We want both. And uh, you can also describe the purpose of the application. We want our application to be able to use, be used for both creating content, editing content, and showing content. And then for both the desktop and the mobile UI, you can pick a theme. Uh, let's pick the blue theme for our web template uh, and uh, uh, blue for our mobile as well. And move forward. Finally, you have to give your application a name. I will call mine my contacts. Oops. Contacts. And you can enter a brief description. An app for keeping track of my contacts. And then I hit next. And the application has been created. I click Proceed. This will drop me into the builder part of the user interface. The system has now created all the things necessary to have a working application. So just to get a quick glance of what we actually have right now, we can click on the Play button down here. So we'll open up another browser tab where I get dropped right into the user interface of my application. This is the home page of the application. It just has one link, list contact. This will take me to a data grid where I can see a list of all the contacts in my system. You, we can see here the attributes that we defined on the contact model earlier, name, phone, and email. I can click on this button to create a new contact. And it lets me enter data into a form. Uh, let's say we're adding a contact called Joe. Joe's phone number is 555-123-1234. And his email is joe at the pivo.com. Okay. 
and we're taken back to the list screen and we can see that we now have one contact. I can right click to edit the contact and let's uh, say that, oh, it's really Carl and we've updated it. We might also say that we, we don't want to keep this contact any longer and we can right click and say delete and it's gone. So that's essentially all of my application. It's, as I said, it's very, very simple, but this is, you know, a basic CRUD application. We can now make changes to this. So if we close this tab and go back, we can see what uh, is actually in the builder. Click here, we can see the models. We have our contact model, just as we defined it in the wizard, name, phone number, and email. And, uh, and then we have the user interface. <clears throat> We can see that we have the application home screen, the create contact form, the list contacts, and those are the ones we're interested in right now. If I click on the form here, the create contact view, we can see this is actually pretty much exactly what we saw when we ran the application. Uh, a very interesting part to uh, be aware of here is that these fields, these are three text fields, and if we click on one, we can see here they have a name, text field zero. Uh, this one uh, is connected to a form called contact form. And it's connected to an attribute called name. This is what is referred to as a data binding. If we go back here, we can see that here we have a tab called forms. If I click on this, I can see the contact form is connected to the contact model. If I go back here again, I can see that this text field is connected to the contact form, as we just saw, and the attribute name. This means that whenever you show a record belonging to the contact, this field will display the contents of the name attribute. Likewise, these are connected to the phone and email attributes, respectively. We can also take a look at this button double click I see that this has a set of events and here we can see that there's a click event defined for this button this is a uh, an event handler of the type quick action it's essentially a macro which uh, for this particular button submits a form which form does it submit it submits the contact form likewise you can see there are other uh, events that you can define handlers for just by clicking here. All right, let's go back. Uh, the builder also created uh, an uh, sorry, uh, a mobile interface for us. This is just like the desktop one, but a mobile interface. This works exactly the same. I have my three fields here, all connected to the contact form and the button that will submit the form if I click on it. And that's pretty much it for now. Uh, now, hopefully you understand the basics of creating a simple application with uh, the application wizard. And uh, then you can start playing around here uh, and make changes to make your application a little bit more interesting. For instance, if I want to change the wording here, I can just double click on this and say, oh, maybe it should say, add a new contact instead of create a contact. And it's changed. Maybe I also want to style this differently. I can click style here, and maybe I want the font size to be a little different. Maybe I want it a bit bigger. Maybe I want to change the color. Oh, it should be red. That looks better and you've changed it. I click apply. We're done. I hit save and preview. New contact. And we can see that our edits are in place. Okay, good luck creating applications with the app wizard. Uh, hope to see you in a, another tutorial very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>